live in a connected world. A world full of technologies and devices that interact with each other, making our interactions faster, flexible and more personalized. We are now on cloud nine of the modern technological marvel, riding on the way of innovation and reaping the benefits of computers, connectivity and social media. The future is networking, there's no doubt about it. The network and internet, social networking, these have become ways of communication. This is the way that people communicate today. And India stands at the cusp of this digital revolution, faced with the prospect and responsibility of empowering every citizen and connecting even the remotest corners of the country. I dream of a digital India where 1.2 billion connected Indians drive innovation. I dream of a digital India where quality education reaches the most inaccessible corners driven by digital learning. I dream of a digital India where the world looks to India for the next big idea. The seeds of turning India into a digitally empowered knowledge economy have already been sown. After the telecom revolution swept the nation in the 90s, India now has more smartphones than laptops and desktops. Mobile internet works where broadband fails to reach. I actually know a story of uh, somebody telling me that back in my village, people might not have light, but they have a phone and they have Facebook. Um, that's where we're moving. We're online already, we're, we're talking about it, we're connected to people all over the world. But a digitally connected India is not just about connections and devices. It is also about the innovations, collaborations and big ideas it brings with it. We see in India the innovation of two types. One is uh, foundational in innovation, which is basically creating something which just doesn't exist, but also equal amount of uh, application-led innovation, which means that you have something and how could you apply it in Indian context, in rural Indian context. The foundation for a networked India is already being laid. Young innovators and entrepreneurs are using the limitless potential of connectivity to tackle India's problems to bring about a social change. A small village near Ahmedabad, Punsari, is redefining rural living with 24-hour Wi-Fi connectivity. Sari facility. अगर आज सी जी में थ्री जी मिल रहा है अगर फोर जी भी आ रहा है लेकिन यहाँ टू थाउजेंड टेन से वाई फाई है तो गाँव को लोगों को नहीं लगेगा कि हाँ हम थ्री जी या फोर जी का यूज कर रहे हैं कनेक्टिविटी एंड मोबिलिटी आर क्रिएटिंग सेफर सिटीज Once more and more people get involved and engage with the issue of safety, this will begin to change the behavior of people and they will create safer cities. And the power of social media is being harnessed for social causes. Change is happening on social media. Uh, there are petitions that are being done. There are people coming together to rally for a cause. And that is how the idea of a networked society is taking shape. The Networked India campaign on CNN IBM, done in partnership with Ericsson, is providing a platform to change makers to come forward and dazzle India with their innovations. It's an initiative that recognizes the power and potential of technology to turn India into a smart and a connected society. Hello, I'm Sukhmini Sadana and I'm at the National Science Center in New Delhi, which was set up in 1992 to make science popular and encourage scientific thinking. This exhibit behind me chronicles the evolution of communication technology, which has come to redefine how we lead our lives in today's connected world. Welcome to the special episode of Networked India, a CNN IBN campaign in partnership with Ericsson that celebrates India's digital revolution led by connectivity and mobility. The campaign has created a buzz across India, encouraging young innovators to send entries of innovations that try to solve everyday problems for society and help save lives. Innovation like Rescan, a life-saving device that detects oral cancer.
Meandering through the backwaters of rural Kerala, a creaky old boat ferries a life-saving device to a fisherman who lives miles away from a basic primary health center. This device will tell 42-year-old Shaji, a subsistence fisherman, if he shows early signs of oral cancer. 40% of all cancers in India are related to tobacco use and are rarely caught early. My grandfather was uh, having the uh, oral cancer and I used to accompany him for the, uh, to the original cancer center, which is Trivandrum. You had to travel maybe around uh, two hours to reach the hospital, then wait for the uh, doctor to be consulted. Every doctor I met at that time, at least I remember that, they were talking about this could have been cured toward if it was detected earlier. Inspired by this experience, Dr. Suresh Nair, a government scientist turned entrepreneur, developed BreezeScan. It is a portable cancer diagnostic tool that uses light rays passing through human tissue via an optical fiber probe to help locate precancerous and cancerous cells non-invasively. For a person, it takes only two minutes. So within that, you can find out whether there is an issue on the uh, tissues. BreezeScan runs on freely available Android operating system. It can be administered by anyone, go right up to the patient's doorstep and wirelessly transfer results to a doctor sitting miles away. The government says like one uh, BreezeScan at one primary health center and the ASHA worker works from there. It's a huge thing there. With the promise of last mile access and affordability, BreezeScan is a game-changing technology for the bottom of the pyramid in India, a country where 7 lakh people succumb to cancer every year. Earth looks stunning from space, doesn't it? But we are killing it. Environmental pollution is on the rise and doing irreparable damage to our planet. Let's take a look at how a group of innovators are trying to create awareness about the increasing levels of pollution with the help of a pollution mapping kit. This is the air we breathe every day, every moment of our lives. A lethal combination of sulphur dioxide, benzene, carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide and particulate matter that exposes us to serious neurological and respiratory damage. India is home to 13 of the 20 most polluted cities in the world. 20 lakh Indians die every year due to outdoor air pollution. Yet, we lack comprehensive data at the ground level that could help us curb pollution. Three students from Mumbai Somaya College have come up with a solution. Dheeraj, Amit and Soham have built EcoMapper, a device that can be placed anywhere around the city to map pollution in that particular area, providing an all-inclusive alternative to the government's current method of measuring pollution. The government is doing work for mapping pollution. Wo every month survey lete. But unka jo data hota, that is restricted to some particular area and is not for whole Mumbai. And what we are doing is we are doing at a base level. We have kits at each and every location, so we can get an accurate data. Our kit is more cheaper and it is more reliable and it is more robust. EcoMapper has built-in sensors which accurately identify the level of dust, noise, particulate matter and carbon monoxide and can be programmed to include 54 more such sensors. The pollution data obtained is open and accessible to anyone who wants to view it. With more people, more cars and more industries, pollution is an ugly reality we can't escape from. But an eco-mapper in each corner of each city can help us understand how best to face it. 
If EcoMappers is drawing our attention towards building a healthier planet, then Safety Pin aims to create a safer one. This map-based mobile app is combining the power of connectivity and the will to collaborate among citizens to help create safer cities. Let's take a look. Welcome to New Delhi. Busy, chaotic and always in a hurry. But all this noise can't drown out the fact that it is one of the most dangerous and unsafe cities in the world, especially for women. I always have that sense of fear when I'm alone in the city and I'm walking back home or I'm walking somewhere else. I usually don't feel safe while taking the public transport, especially in the evenings. I think that going out at night particularly is, um, well, you know, it makes one think twice. It's, it's quite ridiculous. I mean, a city should be accessible at all times. As cases of crimes against women continue to rise, a map-based mobile app, Safety Pin, is taking baby steps to make women feel safer in the city. So by making it into an app, the idea is that anyone, anywhere in the city can see the safety score, can engage in the process of creating safety. Because once more and more people get involved and engage with the issue of safety, this will begin to change the behavior of people and they will create safer cities. Safety Pin lets users know which areas of the city are safe, unsafe or moderately safe. The app uses crowdsourcing to rate the locations based on nine factors, including gender balance, presence of security, transport and lighting. Same parameters that we have in our audit, we are now using it, trying to do an experiment of doing it through photographs. So we work with cab services, we take photographs of the city at night. In that way we can collect much more large scale data. The app also acts as a personal GPS tracker, allowing users to be tracked or to trace a loved one. So you may be coming back late from work, you may be coming back late from college, you may be coming back from the airport, you may be taking a pub form of public, public transport, you're not very comfortable. So you just switch the Track Me feature on and the people who are in your list, they'll be able to track you and see your movement. What Safety Pin demonstrates is that by combining the power of connectivity with a will to collaborate, we can make safer neighborhoods and cities a reality. It's time for a short breather, but on the other side, we look at more such unique and exciting innovations that are using information and communication technology to make a big social impact. Welcome back to Networked India. These devices may look bulky and out of date today, but not very long ago, we marveled at their existence and their potential to impact our daily lives. Now we can store more and more intelligence into boxes small enough to fit into the palms of our hands while we try to decipher an information overload. But what if there was an app that did just that for us? Let's find out. All day, each day, we are constantly looking for answers. Where to eat, what to wear, what gadget to buy, which movie to watch, and sometimes even how to mend a broken heart. But what search engines throw at you is a long list of links. If you deploy a search engine, you go through various links and you know the answer is somewhere there. It's really complicated to have to go through that process to come out with the answer, wherein all you wanted to do was ask a question and get an answer. To make sure you get a crisp answer every time you ask a question, Animesh and his team built the Light app, an NLP and machine learning based answering engine. What Light does is understands those words that you that's there in a text window and figure out what exactly you're looking for and then present and prepare that data and present it to you. So it's sort of search outsourced. It's like you have your buddy out there that is on standby to answer any question that you have on anything at any time.
imagine uh, a teenager uh, wanting to ask what to do with their pimples and going, you can get lost in the whole maze of information and not be sure, you know, what, what exactly is, a, is the best remedy for pimples. Whereas on the other hand, you ask that on light and you get a qualified answer that gives you a cure, one or two different methods that's most effective in curing pimples. It's a future of search you know, where it's much more simpler, convenient search and it's a future for us as a, as a species as a whole because questions, you know, give us insight into minds and that's what happens when people are able to ask questions freely as a society we're able to evolve because we know more and we become more. independence era, these forms of communication were used to harness the power of the people for a national or a social cause. Decades later, with the emergence of social networking, organizations like BitGiving are using connectivity and collaboration to get people behind a cause. Let's take a look. At 16, this young sprinter from Delhi is tipped to be the next best thing in Indian athletics. Son of a farmer in Haryana, Beant Singh's dream of winning a medal for India faced hurdles. He lacked adequate funds to train. Support finally came in the form of BitGiving, a crowdfunding platform that uses social media and networking to help individuals and social organizations raise funds online. Change is happening on social media. Uh, there are petition petitions that are being done, there are people coming together to rally for a cause. That power that is being harnessed for an online platform like ours. We've seen Bean Singh, an athlete nobody knew about, uh, actually going out and raising funds to represent our, our country uh, worldwide. Whether it's raising funds for the basic education of underprivileged children or seeking donations to make a documentary film on fishing cats of West Bengal, BitGiving harnesses people power for any and all social causes. What BitGiving uh, essentially does at the end of the day is it's a platform for people who need funds to make something amazing happen and people who want to be part of something amazing. And uh, that's the power of crowdfunding and that's the power of the crowd. There was a time when the quickest and the most high-tech form of communication was sending messages through the telegraph. Now the world is literally on our fingertips. At the heart of this quantum leap lies the power of innovation. In the next episode, we will showcase five game-changing innovations that exemplify the idea of building a connected and a networked society. These five innovations will go head-to-head -head in the grand finale of the Networked India campaign. Until then, stay connected.